Good morning. How are we all this morning? Okay. Put my comments on. Who's watching this morning? How are we all guys? Happy Saturday. Mariana Bromwyn, good morning. Okay, how are we all? We all good? Are we all lovely and warm in in windy, blowy, bloody awful, sunny Adelaide? Hello, Michelle. Um, where it is currently a ridiculous degrees of. Um, can you do that later, please, Jess? Yeah. Just, I'm just to get thank you. Um, not now, honey. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, a bit, bit ordinary here. It's a pretty crappy 40 degrees, but I've just walked in from a boxing class um, and I am, it's a very good thing there's no camera on me this morning, let's just say that, because I am a bright red beetroot here this morning and none of it is pretty, I can tell you right now. So, um, but I've done my exercise for the day and I feel good, so there you go. All right, so I thought this morning I would do a little, uh, have a little play with some Lindy's Magicals and have a play with some stencils and a few other little tips and tricks and bits and pieces. So for those of you who don't know, um, Lindy's, I am the master educator here in Australia for Lindy's Gang. And Lindy's Gang do embossing powders, magicals, sprays, um, and a, another product called Squirts, and they are fantastic. So what I'm playing with today are the magical. So these are a pigment dye-based powder, which means the, the pigment means that they are full of color. The dye means that they are permanent, and the powder means that we need to activate it to get the magic to happen. So these things here are the shakers. They are exactly the same as these little pots different packaging. The difference as well, all of the shakers are um, shimmery. In the magicals, there are some flat colors and there are some shimmery colors as well. So you've got some options. So what I thought I would do, and I have talked about it again and again and again and again, but I absolutely love this technique. So I'm gonna show you very, very quickly how to use these. So this color here is called Magnolia Magenta Gold. Um, the shakers have a flip side, or have a flip top. They have a big scoopy side with a, a big hole access, and then they have a, a shaker side. We're going to be using the shaker side. The paper that I've got here is a watercolor paper. So all I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little onto here, and it doesn't look like much, but, I'm going to activate this powder now. So activating it with some rainwater, nothing fancy, just water out of the tap here in the studio. Putting the water straight on top activates this powder beautifully. So you can see what's happening. All of that gorgeous color is coming out. These chunks here is just where I haven't activated it enough. So I just need to get a bit more water on there and move it around to create this beautiful effect. So this is fantastic. If you're wanting to uh, create backgrounds for your cards or something along those lines and or create your own pattern papers ready to um, die cut or something like that. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use these with some stencils today and create some really quick and simple little card fronts and maybe even whip up a quick scrapbook page. So as part of the picture to page paper craft show, which is online for yesterday and today, um, I'm doing a series of live Facebooks. So if you hang around all day, you'll get me doing lots and lots of bits and pieces. So, all right. How do I use them if they are in these little pots here? We can use them in a very, very similar way. So this time, 
So you can see that it's quite a dense looking color. All I need to do is use a dry paintbrush, which I didn't have handy. Hang on. Whoops, something just hit the floor. Tape, okay. So just a dry paintbrush and I can put it into here and tap some color onto my paper, just like that. So this color is called Wild Rose Rouge and this color comes in a set. Uh, where's my spray bottle here? Okay, so again, I need to activate it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And I can add another color to it. So if I want to add, I'll add this blue. So this one is called Guten Tag Teal. Fabulous names. And I can mix a couple of colors, but I still need to activate that powder to get the magic to happen because we still need to get it all happening. So you can see what happens there. You get these gorgeous, gorgeous effects. So there we go. Really, really easy to use. The other thing I can do with Magicals is I can get my powder, get a little palette and my Nuvo spoon, pop a little bit onto here. So you need a very, very small amount. A little bit goes a really, really, really long way. <laughs> um, okay, so you can see I've got a tiny amount in there. I'm going to grab a, a pipette and some water and activate that. And voila, I have an instant little watercolour wash that I can play with. So the difference now is I can, well, I can now paint with it. Where's another bit of paper? Oh, let's add it to here. Add some splatters. There we go. So yeah, I can paint with it now. I can color in stamped images. I can do all sorts of bits and pieces. So you're only really, um, you know, limited to, and I can make the color more intense by adding more powder as well. So I've got quite a light wash here. Hang on, let me grab another bit of paper. So this is quite a light wash of purple, which is fine, but if I want it more intense, just get that out of the way. But if I want it more intense, there's absolutely no reason why I can't dip my brush into there and make that a lot more intense, okay? Bam, just like that. So really, really easy. And if I wanted to do that sprinkle technique, I can do it the same thing. The only thing this product is not designed to do, they are not designed to go into a spray bottle. The reason being they have a binder in them that binds them to your paper. So what happens is uh, if you put it into a spray bottle, it's going to clog up your nozzle and it's going to uh, infuriate you. Absolutely infuriate you. So this is what we're doing. So these, so I'm just added a little bit of afternoon delight denim to my purple. And you can see what's happening. That color's activated. If I wanted to, I could add more water. I could swoosh it around with my brush a little and go from there and I'll make a nice little card background really, really easily. All right, so what I have done, what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of stenciling. And I want to show you how easy it is to use your stencils with Magicals and how to use your stencils to, ma to make some easy backgrounds for your projects. So let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, flip that over and because I'm going to make another mess. Hi there, Kerry ann Lovely to see you. All right, so with stenciling, um, stencils this weekend are currently 15% off and we have got a huge range of stencils. Um, there, of course, are the Natalie May scrapbooking stencils, but those are not on special. The reason being, I already have them at the lowest possible price that I, I can take them with them. So, but I also have a absolute ton of Stencil Girl stencils. I have a ton of Paper Rose stencils. Uh, I have some new 
ones in which are very, very limited, but I have more shipments on the way. These are um, from All and Create out of London. And these are just gorgeous designs. Hopefully we're not getting too much glare there. And they are an A4 style. They're an A4 stencil. So that is absolutely gorgeous. So I have some lots more of these on the way. I've got three more orders on the way. Um, new paper rows arrived yesterday. So I'm just going to quickly flick through these. So all of these are 15% off. So we've got checker plate. We've got the big big drops, wave stencil, um, we've got these two here, so these are all all available at 15% off, some of the other popular ones, one of my faves, love that, the leaf burst is super popular, one of my original favourites, um, and then Gum Leaves is one of the, is the very, very first stencil I designed for Paper Rose to come out. I love that. That's gorgeous. So let's get those out of the way. Jessica, can you grab those for me, please? And then I also have here for Brick Wall, which I, is lovely. I've done that one. Um, the Cogs is great. This is a brand new one, and this is a brand new one as well. I so really like that lots one. and lots of designs there. So when you're stenciling, um, oh, and here's some stencil girl ones. I love that. That's bloody awesome. So how about I open that one? Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Uh, crazy quilts. All right. So what I might do is I'm going to stencil a. 12 by 12 piece of paper and show you the technique for stenciling with a, a modeling paste okay so here is the gorgeous waves stencil and I'm going to use a heavy gesso because it is lovely and white and will actually dry quicker today especially in here so with a stencil like this where it's super fine I'm going to follow the curves. Just like that. So what's going to happen, so the, the this is the 13 Arts gesso that I'm using that I always use when I stencil. The reason being it's just one of my favourite products to use because it's nice and white but it is not a modeling paste, but it dries with a little bit of body, which is just enough. All right, so what I'm gonna do is peel that off and bring it up to the camera. It's not super thick, but it's just enough. And then Jessica's going to come and grab that from me and go and very gently give that a clean. Ooh, so you can see how pretty that is. Right, so I'm going to pop that aside to dry and come back to this. So what I've done previously is I have pre-stenciled some of those paper rose designs. So I've got the brick wall here. I've got the, the leaf and berries, the brand new one here, which is super nice, the cogs. I don't know what that one's called. But this is just all on plain cardstock, so um, you can see, you can barely see them, but they are there. All right, let's crack into some colour. Let's stop talking about it and do it. All right, so let's start with this one here. So what I'm going to do is I want to go with something super bright and bold to start with. So I'm going to go with Foxglove Fuchsia. And with this one, I'm going to, all of these techniques I'm going to do is going to be that sprinkle and spritz, I've decided. So I'm just going to sprinkle lightly some of this gorgeous powder over the top. I always put the lid back on before I do anything else. Oh, hi, Trina. Home from boxing, you showered and changed yet? Because I'm certainly not. Um, all right, so Foxglove Fuchsia. You ready? Let's bring it up to camera and make that magic happen. It 
it never gets old exactly. All right. So what's happening here? The more water I add, the more the pigments are coming together, the more it is becoming a, a solid color. So what I want to do now is I'm gonna pick it up and move it around. And let that color drip through my stenciling. <laughs> Trina, not showered, not changed. At the rate I'm going, I'll probably be in my sweaty gym gear all day. But that's okay. All right, Jess, can you come and grab this one for me? Don't go far, because I'm gonna need you to take that out of my hand and lay it on the table. Thank you very much. All right. So while I'm doing something, oh, let's go with this. So I've got the cogs. So if I'm going for cogs, I don't really wanna go super bright. So my favorite color to use is Bratwurst Brown. So Bratwurst Brown is going to be exactly that. So I'm gonna sprinkle on some color. And now I need to activate it. And because brown is not a color, it is made up of lots of different colors. Can you see what's coming out of the brown? Pink, yellow, blue. And if I left it like that, that's how it would dry. But I'm not gonna leave it like that because I don't know how to leave it alone. I'm going to add antique gold. And I'm gonna activate it. So a big tip when you're activating, you don't wanna come up here with the water or like this with the water. You need to get on top to activate it because that's what need, that's what the water is going to do. You need to have a, you know, get on there with a bit of purpose. Oh. Whoops, that's a lot. So that one is aged copper, which is really like a gorgeous rose gold. And I'm gonna pop a little bit more Bratwurst Brown on. And I'm letting the water do the work. So you'll notice I've used a big A5 piece and I've just stenciled in the middle. That's because I want to be able to cut it down. I want to be able to trim it down after to get the elements that I like. Okay, so um, I'm just adding a little bit of Black Forest Black for some depth. Activating it every time I add powder. And I'm just going to let that drip right off. Love it. All right, now I'm going to pass that over to Jess, who's going to pop it aside to dry, and we'll do another one. All right, so this is one of the new designs from Paper Rose, and it is really pretty. So let's think pretty. What are we going to do? Let's go for magenta. And no, let's not go for two colours that are going to make mud. Let's go for two colours that are going to be pretty. So this is Magnolia, Magenta Magnolia, Magnolia Magenta Gold. So there's a little bit of powder on there. And we're activating it. Now I'm going to sprinkle some time travel teal on the edges. and I'm gonna let that move around. So the cool thing is, is I can go in and I can add more. So I wanna add some French lilac violet out of the pot. It is ridiculously addictive just to keep making backgrounds like this. I could easily just do this all day. So anyone who um, orders from Natalie May Scrapbooking, um, what, you'll do, what you usually get in your order is a little handwritten note from me thanking you for your business. When I make these little handwritten notes, they are made with magicals and the Lindy sprays. So um, make sure that you have a look at that closely when you get your order. Um, okay, so Lederhausen Laurel is a gorgeous yellow-based green. Look at that. 
Love it. So the question asked, yes. how do you not make mud? How do I not make mud? Okay. So how do you not make mud? You think about the colours that you are putting together. So because we are working with something wet, we need to make sure that we are putting together colours that are alongside each other on the colour wheel. So we don't want to use colours that are opposite on the colour wheel because when we mix them together, we will make brown. Uh, Jess, what happened to that colour wheel that you put away this morning? This one. So to give you a bit of an idea, yeah. just go over to the other side. We should get it all over the floor. Or you could do it like that. Okay, so with the colour wheel, choosing colours that are alongside the colour wheel, all of these are going to work beautifully together, right? No matter what I go with. But the minute I cross them over, blue and orange make mud. mud. Purple and yellow make the worst kind of mud. Christmas makes mud. Halloween makes mud, okay? You're seeing a pattern here? All the American holidays make mud. Um, but that's how you do it. I usually stick with colours that are alongside each other on the colour wheel, okay? Never mix colours that are opposite. That is the clincher. So. And the other question, what colour was that shaker? What colour was... So which gold, sorry. Which gold did I just use? I used antique gold a moment ago. Um, this is the black. This is black forest black. I've got a brick wall design stenciled here and the black is gorgeous so let me show you what happens with the black because black is not a color black is a combination of lots of colors mixed together to get to black so black can be super scary you ready for black mind blown can you see what's happening yellow pink blue purple green all the colors are in there to make black so pretty all right so what i can do is i can get my paintbrush add a little bit more water spread it around i like these really intense black areas that i've got here but i'm just going to get jess to pop that aside and then she's going to need to grab the heat gun and dry all of those babies off for me can you do that please babe yes i can all right so that Oh, shall I do one? Shall I show you what happens when you mix the colours together? Take it to that side of the table, table, love. Yeah, start on that side. Thank you. If you mix purple and yellow together, they are the colours that generally make mud, right? So I've got purple and I've got yellow. Yellow, sprinkle. Purple. Oh God, this goes against everything for me to do this. It's hurting your soul. It is absolutely hurting. All right. So far, so good. But what's happening is this color here that is starting is a bit of a muddy color. And it's like adding green to it you know what it'll prove me wrong here and it'll bloody work but you know it's this color here that's usually not very visually pleasing all right because we strive to make something visually pleasing don't we so the color that's falling off onto the mat is a real muddied brown okay and as it's drying it's a real non-color so it's the same as orange one here has dried and it's got a bit of brown on it. Oh yeah. So there's blue, uh, orange, and if I mix that with blue, or a lot of blue, as the case may be. It, 
it's a you get all these little non colors starting okay so it's pretty bloody amazing just the same but it's a real muddied up brown okay so you can see what happens there so you see the shimmer that's sitting on top from that afternoon delight denim gorgeous all right jessica is the 12 by 12 page dry i'm not sure we can check let's just let's just get rid of that not quite all right can you pass me the ones that are dried while you're drying off the 12 by 12. so this will give you a bit of an idea this one here is the one that's got the brown on it so this is one that i used which is the flat magical with no shimmer this is the one which is the magnolia magenta gold and you can see that shimmer sitting on top so this is something that's unique the other cool thing about this product is with the lindy's it's a dye, so it has stained the paper, meaning I can now take a little bit of blue, make up a little wash, and I can paint over the top. And it's if I was doing this with a watercolour powder, for example, what would happen is that would muddy up and create a new colour, wouldn't it? So it has a lovely permanency to it, which I think is fantastic. And it's still blue. That blue is still blue. It's not taking on any of the purple underneath. All right, so same thing again if I was to put... or oh, orange isn't going to really work on that one because it's too dark. And that's an awful lot of powder that I just made a wash of there. All right, Jess, that's enough, honey. Thank you. All right, so that blue is still very blue and it's sitting beautifully on top. So if you were to stamp an image now and then colour it over the top of that, it would look great. Okay, so what I want to do is I now want to do something with that 12 by 12 layout. And a little bit of this powder goes a really, really long way. So the shakers retail for $8 and... They should last, the average crafter, about two years. Okay, so give you a bit of an idea. Now, here is my 12 by 12 page with my stenciled image, which is almost dry. And I'm going to sprinkle a heap of blues over this and greys and show you how amazing it looks. So this is actually on a 12 by 12 watercolour paper, uh, which I have those available online. Now, I know it's not showing up very well on camera, but it will in a minute, the minute as, soon, as soon as I get some of this colour on. So I'm just going to sprinkle on a combination of a few different blues and activate them all at once. So I've got some lovely teals. I started with a grey. And I'm going to finish in a moment with a really deep, dark navy. So I need to make sure that I am activating all of that powder. All right. Now I'm just going to get in with a bit of the navy for a bit of punch. And I'm going to pick it up and move it around. And I've got a drippy mess going on here, which is fine. All right, so you can see that that is 
going into that stenciling just beautifully. Okay, Jessica, can you pass me all of those bits and pieces that have dried over there? Yep. And let's make a couple of quick cards. Swap you out. Thank you. Look at that. That's not dry. That's okay. We'll do that. Pass the heat gun over in a minute and I'll dry a couple. All right. So these have dried up quite nice. Um, just going to make a little bit of a clean spot here. Um, heat gun, okay. So that is quite wet. I mean, it's, it's water all the way through. So when you're drying something, it's a great tip to dry it from both sides to speed things up a little. So a good quality heat gun, not a hairdryer, not a paint stripper. It's gonna do the job beautifully. Just chat amongst yourselves, guys. All right. Um, this week I had a, a really big delivery in from Australian company Scrap FX. Um, as you all know, I am a sucker for windows and I got a great range of chipboard windows in. So let me show you what they look like. So these are going to make gorgeous little embellishments for, um, for cards, scrapbooking, Look at that one, he's got three windows in it, that pack. Um, and they're super detailed. Uh, there's actually a smaller set that Jess didn't grab me. Oh no, that here one? she is, yep. A little baby set as well, which will be really, really pretty. And then for scrapbooking, you've got the big sets. Um, and that big, big baby there. And there's also the um, AB Studios cathedral windows as well to play with. So what I'm going to do, oh, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. What I'm trying to help with. So I can add magicals to this window as well. So if I want to make this a lovely gold, the color that I've just put picked up and put in my hand is called grab a guy gold. Oh, I can hear my stomach rumbling, sorry guys. Hope that's not coming through on camera. Goodness me. Okay, so I've just made a little bit of powder here and that's gone lovely in gold. And I can just grab that. So what happens with chipboard and magicals is that it dyes the chipboard and then the shimmer sits on top. So then they have this gorgeous gorgeous finish to them when they dry oh i'm trying to get it to come up on camera but of course it's not but no, that's okay you can see it. it's coming up on camera the shimmer uh, my, maybe not the shimmer but All right, where's my paper trimmer? Oh, here. So now I'm gonna cut these guys down to make some card fronts, ready to go. So I can just pop a sentiment straight on the top and then, or a gift tag, um, pop a sentiment straight on the top and, and it's done. Mount it on the front of a card. And it's up to you. I mean, I make my cards at lots of different sizes. Um, I've got lots of these lovely little scraps floating around. So this one, 
is a bit of a weird size, but I've got all these awesome elements. That's great. And I can pop my window on, pop a sentiment on. I could use all sorts of different pieces on that. That's gorgeous. This one has come up looking really nice. So what's happened here, see these little chunks that are coming up here? All that's happened there is that the powder hasn't dissolved properly. It just means that once this is 100% dry, it may come a little bit off, a little bit, um, come off a little bit onto your fingers. So you can brush it off. Um, if you want to, I leave it there. I don't mind it. It just means that I hadn't dissolved it enough, okay? Oh, this one might be a little bit wet still, but... So stencils for today, stencils and stamps are all 15% off. So ultra new stamps, ultra new, um, there's plenty of ultra new. I did a, a little demo yesterday with some ultra new bits and pieces. We have got paper rose stamps and stencils, 15% off. Stencil girl, 15% off. We have got paper collections. All paper collections are 15% off as well. So it's automatically calculated at the checkout. Um, the other thing is alcohol inks are all 15% off as well. So I have got the full range of Couture Creations alcohol inks in stock at the moment. And they are automatically calculated um, when you get to the checkout and your discount comes off straight away. The other thing is, this weekend, if you have already done an order and you go, oh, look, now I need some of those stencils or whatever you need, you can go back and you can add to your cart. So if you have already done your first order and paid $12.50 for postage, fantastic, thank you for your custom. But you can select on your second order, no judgment, and you pay one cent to have all your old orders put together each time. So if you decide this afternoon or you like my next demo and I, what am I doing for my next demo? Foiling, let me give you a sneak peek. You ready? Hang on. <laughs> my next demo, which is at what time? 1.30. One thirty. I think. We're gonna do this. Mm. So there might be something that you need. Um, but you can add to your order by selecting no judgment. Postage is not free, but on your second order, it's only one cent. Your first order will be $12.50. We are posting Monday. For those pickup ladies? Yep, for those pickup ladies, your postage is, of course, is free, but you have to be in South Australia for pickup. Um, the, um, oh, I know what I might do. Shane thing. Um, yeah, so, uh, and we will notify you, uh, local, local ladies, when your order is ready, you will receive an email. But until then, it, um, yeah, you know the drill. Okay, I've got another question. Jessica's got another question. If you only bought four magical colours, what would you suggest? I'm a purple kind of person. If you're a purple kind of person, what colours would you suggest? I would go with, have you got a pen? Magnolia Magenta Gold. I would go with time travel teal. I would go with which what about is, autumn maple crimson. Autumn maple crimson is a really lovely. Um, oh, what's what's the name? Um, it's a really dusty sort of pink. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably go with polka polka purple, very, which is that one, which is a gorgeous purple, uh, and maybe. Maybe a navy blue, because what? all of those colours will go together beautifully, okay? Does that make sense? Or you can get them in a set like this, okay? So what these do, these are the glitzy magicals, and they have got no colour, they're just shimmer. You ready for mind blown? Let me get a bit of paper. The other way that you can buy them is like this. 
So this is the Haunted Halloween set, which has got Witch's Potion Purple, Freaky Frank and Lime, etc. Then you've got these ones, which are the, under the boardwalk. These are flat magicals with no shimmer. And then you've got the Mad Hatter ones, which is a combination of the shimmery ones and the flat ones. So there's a few different collections available. All right, let me show you how amazing these are. This is scintillating silver. So what this is, is the shimmer without the color. So you can add these to anything. So I can go, let me get that color. This is a two, two paintbrush operation I'm going into now. So that's the flat magical by itself in the wild rose rouge, which is part of the mountain meadows set, right? So I can now add that color, that scintillating silver over the top, clean water, and make it shimmery. Okay, so that's that one. This one here is called Ritzy Rose Gold. Um, absolutely gorgeous. So I'll do the... Swatches of that one first. So that, this, this little one here, like I said, the Mountain Meadow set has got no shimmer. It's a flat magical, right? So they are just super intense, bold, awesome color. So these little pots that I'm showing you now are the Glitzy Magicals. So they have got no color, just shimmer. So this one is, what did I say this was called? Ritzy Rose Gold. So just dipping wet my wet brush into there. That's what the rose gold looks like. I'll bring it up to camera. And now when I put it over the top, it's put a rose gold shimmer over the top of that one, okay? And when it dries, it actually looks much, much better. And then I'll get into the habit of putting the lids on because it does not fare well when you spill it everywhere. Okay, so this next one is called Snazzy Sparkle. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, Snazzy Sparkle. Has, is exactly that and that is what it looks like over the top so you can really see that gorgeous shimmer it's almost iridescent it is a little iridescent okay Jess you can pop the lid on that one good work for being a mind reader thank you and what's this color uh this is the copper showstopper copper showstopper copper oh and glitzy gold which is the Colour that we sell individually. No, it's not. not. No? No, it's different. Hmm. So that's the gold. So if anyone used to be a massive fan of the Heidi Swap um, sprays, Heidi did a, used to do a Heidi, a Heidi Shine, and it was the best gold. That is the equivalent, and it only comes in this set. But this is the one that you can buy singly. This is called a glitzy, mag uh, gleaming gold. And it's a bit more of a pale gold. And that over the top of anything is, is incredible. So you can just add them. You can make a new colour. So yeah, so many cool things that you can do with magicals. Um, they're just, just super, super versatile. Uh, I've, like I said, I've been working with Magicals, uh, with Lindy's for, I don't know, five, six years, something like that. And I, this is the only product I really love that I have just picked up again and again and again and again and gone, yep, got to have that. Um, and as they're drying, can you see those shimmery colours? They're just, oh, they make me happy. All right. So back to these guys here. I've got some simple card fronts. So what I would now do if I had the time, I'm not going to bang on about it too much, but I would mount them on another piece of cardstock. 
and then pop my sentiment, pop one of these gorgeous little windows on it perhaps. Um, yesterday I showed a whole heap of the gorgeous scrap effects embellishments that you could use like that window over that is amazing. All right, so there's lots of gorgeousness, but can we just take a moment to appreciate this stencil? Like, wow. It's one of my new favorites. Amy. I think it is one of my new favorites. Closely followed by this guy. Mm -hmm. So, okay, enough waffling on. So, hello Susie. Um, I have forgotten what I was gonna say. Okay, so Lindy's Magicals are available online. You will find them on nataliemay.com.au. These little shakers um, sell for eight dollars each. The uh, and they should last you two years. There's a there's 26 different colours. Um, I've always got them in stock because I love them. I do not sell things that I don't know about or I don't love. It is not good business to do that. Um, the stencils are all 15% off for today only. The sale will end at midnight um, or 11.59 South Australian time. And that's really important. If you are in Perth, there will be a time difference. If you are in New South Wales, there will be a time difference. The uh, stamps and stencils, 15% off. Patterned paper collections. So I've got AB Studios. I have got Minte. I have got Studio 73. I've Coco got Celebrate. Paper Rose, Celebrate, Coco Vanilla. I've got so many. <laughs> oh, lots of brands. Photo Play, Bella Boulevard, <gasps> Graphic 45. I've got so much. Anyway. Um, and then, so that's all 15% off for today only. Uh, the alcohol inks, there's all of the colours. There's like 85 colours or something like that. They are all 15% off as well. So I will be back again. Um, I have another live Facebook and I will be doing foiling and stamping. We're going to have a bit of a play and make some experimental decisions that may or may not work. So... Um, Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to take some photos of these and I'll post them up with a link to the products that I have used, as I normally do. So um, thanks, guys. Jump online, nataliemay.com.au. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, chat soon. Bye.